So, an interesting thing happened a few days ago. Slightly Mad Studios finally canceled the Wii U version of Project Cars. Now, I can't say I didn't see this coming, but in all fairness, the Nintendo universe of internet kind of just flipped out, right? Um, and so all of a sudden you got commenters screaming that people should sue Slightly Mad Studios for deceiving its backers. Um, and then you've got sites pretty much bashing the company for trying to promise a Wii U version for so long. And so I was kind of in the boat of, yeah, you lied, I'm kind of irked, but I'm not necessarily pissed. Now, after doing some research, I realized that not only was canceling not not only was canceling Project Cars a good decision, a great decision for Slightly Mad Studios from a financial standpoint, but people don't really have a right to be mad at them to begin with. So here's the thing. The main complaint about Project Cars is that it was crowdfunded, and people were promised that there would be a Wii U version, and that's why people backed it for the Wii U version. And in polls, overwhelmingly, people wanted a Wii U version of the game, right? Well, kind of. Um, you see, when Project Cars was initially announced for crowdfunding, first off, a Wii U version wasn't even announced. That only came a little later. But the game wasn't funded on Kickstarter. It was funded on this platform called World of Mass Development, which is a platform pretty much created by Slightly Mad Studios for Project Cars. Now, what is this platform? It's not just throwing away money hoping for a game to appear, it's an, actually an investment. So here's the thing, if you back the game and you gave them $50, you got the game for free. Now, everyone who backed it, whether they wanted a Wii U version or not, got free copies of Project Cars for 50, it wasn't dollars, 50 euro, right? But here's the thing, they also get their money back. So if the game sold 250,000 units, all the people that put 50 euro into into funding get 55 euro back. So not only do they get the game, but they also get 5 euro back. And here's the thing, the game was profitable, so people are getting their money back. Now, here's the catcher. That money doesn't just come back initially. It keeps growing. It's like an investment. So if the game sold a million copies, which it may, who knows, it probably won't, then the people actually get 220 euro back after putting in a 50 euro investment. So not only do Wii U owners who maybe want a Wii U version of Project Cars can't sue, they can't sue because they're getting money back. So they're coming out even in the end, whether they get their version that they want or not, they're already getting the PC version, they're coming out even, okay? So, they don't get a right to sue, period, it's an investment, done with that, and they're getting their money back. That's first of all. Second of all, there's this whole stigma that publishers are putting out subpar games, right? And people are screaming at Ubisoft for putting out games late, such as Watch Dogs, or screaming out for DLC content coming late. And even when games are perfectly okay on the Wii U, like, say, Mass Effect 3, which came out at launch, or Assassin's Creed 3, which came out at launch, people are still get pissy, getting pissy at these companies, whatever. But when a game launches that's truly not too functional or has some features missing, such as Splinter Cell, the online mode, which was gone, people get mad, and justifiably so. So why are people getting mad that Project Cars is getting cancelled when the reason it's getting cancelled is because it can't get it can't run on the Wii U? Um, they had the videos that re that released where Project Cars was running like 7 frames a second on the Wii U, right? That's a flaming pile of crap. Um, the game is using all of the PS4 power to run that came from Slightly Mad Studios. Who knows? They might be lying. You're right. They might be lying. Who knows? But they're probably not. Um, so if they're using all the PS4 power, how in the hell is it ever going to run on the Wii U? And when they're getting it running at 7 frames a second, barely, at 720p, why would they release that on the Wii U when they know that, number one, it's not going to sell? In fact, hell, it wouldn't sell whether it would run well. I mean, sure, maybe those 10,000 vocal minority people would go out and buy it, but third parties have tried before on the Wii U, and they did when it launched, and guess what? It didn't go well. Maybe Zombie U sold decently, and Ubisoft was unjustifiably disappointed with those sales, but, I mean, other than Rayman, those third-party games, even the ones that were on par with other systems and sell on the Wii U, why would they release a game that's broken on the Wii U that's only going to die just to be met with people being pissed at them even more? Alright, just think about that. So, 
summary of events. Three years ago, this crowdfunding campaign began. A bunch of people put in 50 euro, or even more, they're actually funding tiers up to 25,000 euro if you decide to put it in. People are getting reimbursed. Now, one of the versions that wasn't even announced initially isn't coming out, the Wii U version, and that's because it can't run. Let's think about that. It was, A, probably a very good decision based off of money-wise they would make their money back for releasing on the Wii U. Number two, everyone's getting their money back. And number three, it's a quality issue. Why would you want a shitty game on the Wii U? Alright, I hope this settles the matter. Sure, I understand why you're mad that you're not getting a racing sim on the Wii U, um, but who didn't see this coming? And if you're still mad, go get Need for Speed, because I heard that that's pretty good.